back in the room of requirement and it's time to fix this drums. First, the things that I'm using. I have these Allen wrenches and a precision screwdriver set. So the first thing you wanna make sure, obviously, is that this thing is not on, so it's powered off. And I'm gonna take out the battery so that this doesn't decide to get possessed again and do whatever it wants to without me telling it. The gimbal has to be detached from the inside. So this whole thing has to come off. And here's how you do that. So the first thing that's gotta happen with this is we need to take these little panels off. So you gotta unfold the arms for this first. And you need millimeters, not SAE, um, when it comes to the Allen wrenches. Okay, and once those are out, you have to pry this off um, with something. And so I'm gonna use a teeny tiny screwdriver head. Okay, so that's off. So next, on the other side of the drone, so there's, there's six screws that need to come out on this side. There's one, two, three, four inside the battery bay, and then hidden by these arms are two more screws. So after you've taken out these six screws, there's six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are the ones we've just taken out. We're gonna have to flip the drone over on the other side to remove four more, and those are right here and right here on each side. So one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna flip this thing over. This apparently is where the GPS module is housed and there's a connector, so part of it is attached to this upper portion of the drone and then there's a wire that attaches to like the control, of the, not the control panel, the circuit board in the body of the drones. So that, when I lift this up, I'm gonna have to disconnect that. So if you're doing this on your own, be aware that that has to come apart. Okay, so I would have filmed that, but it was not easy um, to pop this off, but I got it. Um, this connector, the GPS connector, um, popped off really easily. You can see that right in there. That's where it goes and here's the little wire. So here's where the GPS module is and that's sealed. So what needs to happen is there are four connectors that we have to, four connectors that we have to disassemble. We have to disconnect both of these connectors and both of these connectors right here. And then there are four screws that need to come out. So these two are coming out and these two are coming out and that's what's going to release the gimbal from the inside of the drone and before we do all of that this connector has to be detached first so here we go so this is more invasive than I wanted to get but um, this glue it's more like a rubber and it needs to come off so I've got an X-Acto knife because these little um, connector cables, I doubt are as strong as this glue. So this glue has got to come off. And I think the best way is probably to just cut it. Okay, so basically what I did is there were these little globs of glue, so I cut along the edges of these connectors and then cut sideways just up to the connector to remove the glue enough that I could pry these up. So these are disconnected and these connectors are disconnected. The last thing that I have to do is unscrew our screws, one, two, three, four, and then I folded this up so it's easier to handle. So I'm gonna remove the gimbal clamp now Here's my poor broken gimbal. And you can see there the broken ribbon. And that's what I'm replacing today is the broken ribbon and also the gimbal mount is broken. Now what I'm gonna try to do is replace this gimbal ribbon, which is what broke in the crash. And also 
this gimbal mount, you can see that there's this mount right here and um, this little piece right here is what attaches the gimbal to this mount and that broke. So I ordered a new one of these. Um, so those are the two parts that I'm gonna be replacing. Okay, so once you've got your gimbal off, the first thing that you want to do is disconnect the camera from the circuit board. So that means disconnecting this little attachment here, there's a metal connector, and then just below these wires, there's a white connector. We're gonna disconnect both of those and then detach the circuit board from the gimbal holder by removing one, two, three screws. So here's my broken gimbal bracket or mount, and here is my replacement. This was super, super cheap. Basically what I'm gonna do in order to get this on is there's two more screws that need to be removed, one and two on the other side of this. So this guy pops right out, and this kind of holds this um, thing in place. Um, the other thing that holds it in place are these kind of rubber band type things. So I am just going to uh, pop this guy out of these and slide the new one back in. So there's the new gimbal mount on there. Um, it's a success. So I'm just gonna reassemble this and um, put the, I think this is the no drop cover back on. Okay, so now I am reattaching the circuit board and that part of my drone is fixed. Yay! So now here's the really iffy part. The gimbal ribbon. This was severed by the tree that this thing flew into. And so if this actually fixes all the problems with the drone, I'm in the clear. I don't see any damage to these wires um, that connect to the actual camera, which is great and there's really no damage to the gimbal itself that I can see. So this is eventually going to attach to this. The first thing I'm gonna do with this though is I'm gonna remove the broken bracket for the um, stabilizer that broke. We need to take this entire assembly apart so that we can get at this ribbon cable. So here's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off these screws in this order. We need to remove this cover. So these two screws are coming off. After that, this screw is coming off and we're gonna remove this piece. And then we're going to remove one, two, and three screws in that order. So what you'll notice on this assembly, this piece right here is all one piece and this needs to come off. So I'm actually gonna do this with an X-Acto knife, very gently and carefully kind of pry this open enough so I can get my fingernail in there, under there. And I'm gonna pull this cover off like so. Set that aside and you can see we're getting more of this ribbon gimbal um, kind of exposed so that we can work on it and replace it. So next I'm gonna take these two screws out so that we can remove this cover. But what you can see is the path of the ribbon cable. So there's a adhesive attachment right here and on my new ribbon cable, you can see that this is where that goes. So this kind of goes right here and that wraps around this gimbal and comes out the other side and loops the other way and kind of runs along the back of this piece right here. And it comes out the top right here, loops forward and it kind of branches off into two sections. One goes up the other goes down, and this is where my cable got severed.